What's up guys, my name is Dave and this is an in-depth tutorial for the song Knock on Wood by Justin King. Now we're going to begin by tuning our guitar to Dadgat, which is D-A-D-G-A-D. -A -A I'm going to be playing with heavy gauge strings, so I like to tune my guitar down to relieve the tension a little bit. So I'm going to be tuned to the key of C, which means it's going to be Dadgat but a full step lower. So the tuning I'm using then is going to be C, G, C, F, G, and C. Alright, so starting out, here's the first riff we're doing. So what's going on here is we're going to take our left hand, 4th fret on the 6th string, hammer onto the 5th fret, and to the 7th fret. 1st finger, 2nd finger, 4th finger. This is going to be a lot of hammer-ons with the left hand, so we're going to have to work on our dexterity and making sure we fret with enough power to produce the note volume that we're looking for. Then, we're going to take our first finger, hammer on to the fourth fret on the fourth string. Followed by second finger going down on the fifth fret on the fifth string. Pulling off to open fifth string. Then, we're going to follow that up with fourth fret hammer on with our first finger to the fifth fret hammer on with our second finger pull off again hammer on fourth fret fifth fret again then one more fourth fret hammer on fifth fret hammer on and then pull off to open fifth string so we have Then we proceed to play it again, only now we're going to do this. Hammer on to the 7th fret with our pinky on the 5th string and then pull off to open. So the first two riffs in the beginning we have are... Then... Then we repeat the first riff again. And then we finish with... one hammer on from the 4th fret to the 5th fret and then we hold the 5th fret hammer on then we begin our percussion with the right hand and what that is, is we're taking our fingers I like to do my 1st finger, 2nd finger, 3rd finger, 4th finger and I roll them out We're using my thumb to go over each one at a time 1st finger through to the 4th finger Eventually, you'll get to the point to where you won't have to roll your thumb over the fingers. You'll just be able to naturally roll them out correspondingly like this in the sequence. So it's going to be around here on the guitar and then that's going to be followed with our thumb used as a bass kick. And here's how many times we're doing this here. We're doing one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. The snare on the side of the guitar with our fingers is going to be on the four. One is going to be the finger roll. One and a two and a three and a four and a. And then we begin the next section. So let me play it from the beginning now. Now we begin doing them together like this. Alright, 
right, so let's break down the drums now. It's gonna be like this. So what's going on here is we're gonna start with our bass kick, thumb, finger rolls, and then snare on the side of the guitar, so. And then bass kick with the thumb again, so. Bass kick, finger roll, snare, thumb. And then, and what that is, is two bass kicks, and a snare, and then one more bass kick, so. So now for the beginning. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the intro riff with this drum. And this is where you'll really have to practice each hand one at a time until you master what each hand is doing and then you're gonna combine them. So starting very slowly, try it around this speed. Let's try and break it down a little bit more so I can help you out with uh, gathering speed here. Start right here. Practice this. Bass kick on the 4th fret. You're going to start doing the finger rolls when you hammer on to the 4th fret of the 4th string. So, And then snare when you hammer on to the 5th fret of the 5th string. Okay. The next bass kick is going to be on the 4th fret hammer on on the 5th string. So... Like that. And then the next two bass kicks are going to be on the 4th fret and then 5th fret. So... And then the next snare is on the 4th fret hammer on 5th string. Then repeat that again, so. And then you're only switching to the next phrase with the left hand, which is hammering onto the seventh fret and then pulling off to open. So now repeat the first phrase again. And then you're gonna finish with that one hammer on from the fourth fret to the fifth fret. And then, and what he's doing there is he's doing natural harmonics, slapping on the 12th fret on the top three strings, and then natural harmonics on the 12th fret on the bottom strings. And that's gonna be a hit and release motion right there. You gotta practice finding that sweet spot where you get the nice, uh, the resonance. Okay, so we've mastered the intro riff. Now let's take a look at the verse riff. Here's what we're playing. Here's what we're doing with the left hand. We're going to begin with the 4th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, like the intro. And then 4th fret, 4th string, to 5th fret, 5th string. So like the intro. And then we're going to do 4th fret again, and then 5th fret again on the 4th string, and then 5th string, so. We do this three times total. Now let's take a look at the right hand. And now what this is, is gonna be our first two fingers on the right hand, we're gonna tap the 7th fret of the 4th and the 2nd string sliding up to the ninth fret. Mm -hmm. 
then pulling off to open. And now to syncopate that with the left hand, it's going to look like this. 7th fret tap, at the same time that we do the 4th fret on the left hand. Then as we slide to the 9th fret, we're going to hammer on to the 5th fret with our left hand. And then as we do a pull off with our right hand, we do a hammer on to the 7th fret with our left hand, pinky. Then we do a hammer on to the 4th fret with our left hand on the 4th string. And then as we do the left hand hammer on to the 5th fret of the 5th string, we do a tap on the 9th fret of the 1st and 3rd string, 1st and 2nd finger. Pulling off to open 1st and 3rd string, and then 7th fret, 1st and 3rd string have, uh, tap, and then pulling off to open again, so. Then after that, our left hand is going to hammer on to the 4th fret of the 4th string. We're going to tap the 7th fret of the 4th and 2nd string. Pulling off to open with our tapping hand. And then hammering on to the 5th fret of the 5th string with our left hand. And then we tap again the 7th fret of the 4th and 2nd string and then slide up to the ninth fret. Then we finish by pulling off to open with our tapping hand and then pulling off to open with our left hand. Okay, from the beginning. Second time around, we're going to do a harmonic slap instead of doing the slide. And that's going to be after doing the fifth fret, hammer on on the fifth string. Then we repeat the first phrase again. And then we're going to do something a little different. Here's what that looks like. What's going on here is we're going to start with with our right hand, 9th fret, 1st and 3rd string, tap, pull off to open, and then 7th fret, 1st and 3rd string, pulling off to open. As we do this, our left hand is going to hammer on to the 4th fret on the 6th string. After doing the pull off from the 7th fret on the 1st and 3rd string, from the tap, we're going to hammer on to the 5th fret on the 6th string. Then we're going to proceed to tap the 7th fret on the 2nd and 4th string. And then we pull off to open, and then hammer on to the 4th fret on the 5th string. So. And then after doing the hammer on to the 4th fret, we're going to tap once again the 7th fret of the 2nd and 4th string and slide to the 9th fret. After doing a pull off from the 9th fret tap, we hammer on to the 5th fret on the 5th string and then finish with a harmonic slap. So. So now from the beginning. take a look at the chorus riff. Now there's different strumming variations we can use for the chorus here, but this is how I like to play it. Let's 
let's take a look at the chord that we're playing here. It's basically just going to be barring your second fret on the top three strings. And then a little lick that I'm doing here. As I do my downstroke, I hammer onto the fourth fret on the fourth string with my third finger and then pull off back to the second fret where I have my first finger barring it. And then after doing that pull off, I'm going to finish with an upstroke. And then come down on the strings and do a muting slap. And then proceed to play upstroke, downstroke. After that, I do a bass kick with my palm right here on the guitar. I flick my fingers out like this and then do a harmonic slap. So it's like this. Then the next chord I play is going to be what this is, my first finger is going on the 4th fret on the 3rd string, then my 2nd finger goes on the 5th fret of the 6th string, my 3rd finger goes underneath that on the 5th fret on the 5th string. I started by doing a downstroke with my 1st finger off, just with my 2nd and 3rd finger down. I hammer on to the 4th fret on the 3rd string and then I do an upstroke after the hammer on. Another palm muting slap and then another upstroke after that and then another hammer on and then pull off with my 1st finger then after that, I tap the 7th fret of the 4th and 2nd string and slide to the 9th fret. Pulling off to open and then harmonic slap. So now let's take a look at the first two phrases we have. Now let's do it again. Okay, now we're going to go back to the first phrase again. And now we're going to do something a little different here. Let me play it for you. What's going on here is I'm playing the same chord shape, downstroke, and then hammering on to the 4th fret of the 3rd string with my 1st finger. Then I proceed to tap the 12th fret of the 2nd string. Pulling off to open 2nd string, then going to the 10th fret and then ninth fret. So... After doing the 9th fret tap on the 2nd string and then pulling off to open, I hammer on to the 4th fret of the 3rd string And then tap the 7th fret of the 2nd string, pulling off to open. And then, 7th fret tap on the 4th string, sliding to the 9th fret. And then pulling off to open. After doing the tap from the 7th fret of the 2nd string to open, I do another hammer on with my 1st finger to the 4th fret, 3rd string. then do the tap from the 7th to the ninth fret on the 4th string. Okay, then we do the first phrase again. Ok, 
Okay, so instead of the harmonic slap that we're doing after this riff, what we're actually doing is 7th fret harmonics. I taught you guys wrong. I've been playing this song for such a long time to where I won't even really think about what I'm doing and then just then I remembered that riff that I'm actually doing it like this. It's gonna be like... So that's the only difference there. Instead of doing the harmonic slap that I taught you, we're actually just gonna be doing 7th fret harmonics. So let's take a look at the beginning again. Riff. Back to this. Once more. All right, here's the outro. Okay, so here's how we begin this. We start with the same formation as what I taught you before in which our 2nd finger goes on the 5th fret of the 6th string our 3rd finger goes on the 5th fret of the 5th string downstroke, hammering on to the 4th fret, this time of the 1st string this might be a little bit awkward at first and you can kind of get away with not producing the full volume if it's a little bit tricky, which in the beginning it might be it might be a little bit hard to produce that note so once you get the practice in, in there, it's really going to be okay if you don't produce the note that loudly. You can get away with it. So after that, then we're going to tap 12th fret and then pull off to open. So we lift up our first finger on the left hand. 11th fret and then 9th fret pull off. So. Then we're going to hammer on to the 4th fret of the 6th string. Tap the 7th fret on the 1st string, pull off to open. Our 2nd finger is going to hammer on to the 4th fret of the 3rd string. So. And then, we're going to tap the 7th fret of the 2nd string and slide to the 9th fret. Pulling off to open, so. After pulling off from the 9th fret, slide on the 2nd string. We're going to hammer on again to the 4th fret of the 3rd string and then tap the 9th fret 2nd string then tap the 7th fret 2nd string pull it off to open again and then after this, so let's play this after that hammer on to the 4th fret of the 4th string after hammering on to the 4th fret on the 4th string we're going to tap the 7th fret on the 5th string and then slide to the 9th fret of the 5th string and then pull off to open and then finish with a harmonic slap so like this and then we go back to the beginning where we go and then we do this riff again Then you proceed to play the verse riff again and then the chorus riff again and then we do something a little bit different well it's the same riff but we're going to play it on a different area of the neck of the guitar and that's where we go like this in I believe the third time around of playing the verse and then So what I'll walk you through there is the frets that we're using instead of the original. All we're doing differently the first time around is we're going to slide it down a full step, playing the exact same thing only starting on the second fret instead of the fourth fret on the sixth string. So that means. We're doing 2nd, 3rd, 5th 
And then our right hand, instead of doing seven to nine, is gonna do five to seven. Then the second shape is gonna be seven, eight, 10 with the left hand. And then the right hand, <coughs> and then the right hand is gonna do 10 to 12. And then we finish with 9, 10, 12, and our right hand does 12 to 14. This is where you really have to get some nice volume in tapping and hammer-ons, otherwise it's gonna sound really ugly. So, if your guitar has high action, you're gonna have a little bit of trouble in that bit. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. Uh, and that's how you play Knock On Wood. That's basically all the essentials that you need to know of how I play it. And I hope this tutorial helps you guys out. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.